Good evening and welcome to the WLKO 6 o'clock Optical News Report. Our headline story tonight, after six grueling months, Mrs. Janice Wright Belvoir of Smithfield, Rhode Island, finally settled on a frame that she likes. In other news, Luxottica today announced that they were simply buying the entire planet Earth outright and plan on reselling it bit by bit to the highest bidder. In U.S. news, oh, wait, wait, I'm getting a news flash here. Oh, yes, it appears that John will be appearing in a new place for the introduction in this video. Hello, and as always, I would like to welcome you to the addition to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center. Last couple of years, we've been digging into a whole lot of whiteboard, formulas, math, theory. Well, the time has finally come to start looking at some dispensing techniques. I got an email the other day from a gal who said she needs to buy a new pupillometer, and she asked if I had any suggestions. Well, oddly enough, Hilco had just sent me this beautiful loaner, so today we are gonna take a look at it and do our very first product review. Jen, thank you so much for writing. I really do appreciate it, I love hearing from folks. When I did my little introduction a minute ago, I said a review, and that would be far from fair. This is not a review. This would be an overview. Uh, I might review this again six months or a year from now when I've really used it in a whole lot of different settings. In the current Hillco catalog, they have two pupillometers. This particular one is their H as in Harry, X as in X-ray 400. It says it is a self-calibrating liquid crystal display, adjustable LED light source, uh, it occludes right and left, of course. It does binocular and monocular within plus or minus half a millimeter. Uh, it's adjustable for distance 30 centimeters to infinity. It has a one-year warranty. It's part number 238700H, and it sells for $375, which is kind of normal. All right, let's see what we think here. Feels good, it's a nice weight. Looks like it's pretty well made. Takes two AA batteries, I think it was two AA's. Two AA batteries, yes indeed. I am so tempted to get off the rails here and start talking about pupillometers and taking pupillary distances and that's not what we're about. We're just gonna take a quick look at this pupillometer which Hilco was nice enough to lend to us and I had the question on. Let's get that thing fired up. Beautiful LED readouts there. Nice smooth action, that's beautiful. This also has a vertex distance. You can switch between those. Not gonna get into that feature because I haven't enough experience using it to give you a good idea whether it works or not. All right, let's see what we got. That's nice, that folds out of the way if you want. This would be the customer side of things. Ah, oh, that is a beautiful target. Really nice and crisp. Uh, the white is nice bright because it's an LED. The older models, the batteries, they uh, would, <laughs> yeah, wear down. Um, the, the white would be kind of become yellow, the bowl would get old, they'd start looking kind of cheesy. That is beautiful and it should stay that way because it's an LED. Got a nice beautiful crisp green dot in there so it's easy to tell the customer what to look at. We've got an, an occluder. If I close my right eye. Okay, that's, right, that's a little weird. You'd have to be really careful, not that you occlude very often, but if you did, it, it appears that you could actually have this kind of like half closed. Um, it doesn't have a lock for close. It only has a lock for center. So I would be careful about that. Again, not that you will occlude very much. I so just leave it locked in the middle there. That's good. I'm not a fan of adjusting for distance and doing near PDs, but let's see what happens when we do that. Oh, that's beautiful. Very nice, smooth. You can feel your eyes converging. Nice. Very good. What else does this have? Let's see. It also has, oh, it has a magnifier, that's right. And I'm not sure exactly. Oh, yeah, that really sharpens up. I guess especially for somebody who, you know, needs a, a reading or, you know, uh, 
can't accommodate anymore. Well, that's a good feature. I am going to go grab my assistant, have her come out, and let me take a look through my side of things and see what it looks like through there. I am going to take your pupillary distance. And what I'm going to do, so I'm going to rest this against your forehead. I'm going to sit this on your nose. Inside here, there's a target. It's white, and then there's a green dot. I just need you to stare at the green dot for me. And you may hold this like a pair of binoculars if you wouldn't lean on in towards me. Great. All right. Thank you very much. That looks good. All right, looking inside there, um, it's really clear what I see. Uh, the light shines into her eye, it comes back through the visual axis. You see a little sparkle of light, and that you block with the wires that you're moving with this. The wires are really nice and big. You can block that light really easily. Reading is good, and the light coming back is nice and bright. Uh, again, because it's a nice new machine, fresh batteries. LED doesn't get much better than that. I'd say that Hilco's got a winner here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please join me again next week. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to it. Please hit the like button and please make sure that every uncut lens in your optical life comes from Laramie Kay.